let's say one half an inch, as well as the fit. Under type, we have a number of options, all drill sizes, dowel holes, fractional drill sizes, helicoil tap drills, etc. Let's select fractional drill sizes, for example. And now I've got some new options here, show decimal values. If we expand the custom size and control area, we'll be able to set additional size parameters. On to the fourth tab. These are the end hole specifications. We can choose a hole or a slot. We have a checkbox for auto size based on the start hole. And if this is unchecked, we are able to choose the end hole parameters type, size, and fit. I've accepted our work. Now let's take a look at the whole series feature in the tree. We only see a position sketch. There's no profile sketch like we're used to with the hole wizard. And that's because the hole was created at the part level. I'll deselect everything with a click and blank space. Now activate the whole series tool again. Hole position. We can either create a new hole or use existing hole or holes. And here's where we can select them. You see our selection appears in the selection window. Let's go to the second tab, and we see that the start hole is defined by the hole we chose already. On the third tab, we've got middle hole specifications. Here we can auto size based on the start hole, or we can choose our own values from the drop down menus below. Let's go to the fourth tab for the end hole specifications. Same thing here, we can auto size or choose our own values. Now once again, we see only the position sketch under our new hole in the tree, not the profile sketch. And this concludes our video about working with the whole series tool.